All right, yes, we are back in full effect once again. It's the Critical Sound Bristol Division Sue FM. No, no jingles. No extra jingles. We've been told. No so, extra jingles. Uh, yeah. So I am Sam Binger. You are. You are. I am. Who? Foreign concept. And this is. This is hieroglyphics. Hey, fantastic. Shall I pull this down quieter? What music? Yeah. It's not very, it's not uh, very limited. Okay. Yeah. yeah, maybe a tad. Okay. Maybe a tad. So yeah, what have we got coming up on the show this week? What have we got? We've got great music, as <laughs> always. <laughs> Enchanting banter. Enchanting banter, as seen above. And we've got, uh, what drip, else we got? Drip check. Drip check, classic drip check. Yep. Uh, we've got Turbo Island Discs. Yeah, particularly in-depth one this week. Yes. And, uh, yeah. We've uh, got a sort of feature on a artist. I do know, I've totally forgotten who it is. I've forgotten, yeah, I've forgotten what we've got in the show. I've forgotten what we're doing here, to be honest. <laughs> Wait, um, who is the artist? Ivy Lab. That's it. Uh, Although, one of the tracks is it's, one of it's your it's tracks, surprisingly, for a segment that's dedicated to another artist. Well, I feel like I brought them through with that remix. You shoehorned in one of your own tracks. No, I'm just showing part, an integral part of their journey. You I know thought know we I mean? weren't allowed to do remixes. Like, I thought the whole point was, you know, it was an original, original track. Listen, there was, a time so you, there was a time for these complaints, and it, it's not now. <laughs> these were the rules that you brought in. You've broken your own rules. I didn't bring these rules in. And the worst thing, there's no PRS on this, so you're not even getting paid for that. It's pure <laughs> self-publicity. Your point is... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is the Critical Music Show on Swift FM, 103.7 FM. Have we got a burner phone, Matt? We do. What uh, is the number? The number is 07895619666. Yeah, text in. Um, Thoughts and feelings. Yeah, discussions, emotions. There have been some great ones. Every every um, week or so, so we put up the best um, texts. There's yeah. been some great ones. The last some amazing week, ones on the yeah. Instagram. That one yesterday was uh, stellar, I think. What, the one about I'm leaving my, my husband and I'm yeah, learning yeah, to mix? I'm learning to mix. <laughs> Two seemingly unrelated things. <laughs> He's been holding me back for years. <laughs> <laughs> I told him what to double drop. Yeah. He never let me. Nice. So what have you guys been up to? I haven't seen you for a few weeks. Yeah, um just I mean the usual, like lockdown's coming to an end, so things feel a bit more open. Like I took I took a day trip to London to go see some friends. A date? A day trip. Oh a day trip, sorry, no, okay. No, right. no dates. Oh. Okay. Um and that was nice and you know, being in the sun a little bit, but just been working still, you know? Yeah. Crafting. Right. Setting yourself up for the big return. Yeah, yeah, something <laughs> like that. Uh, calling my agent increasingly more panicked as the, as the society opens up. You know, yeah. Danny, Danny, we, we can do gigs now. I, I can do gigs now. <laughs> Making sure Danny, your email is definitely working. Yeah. <laughs> Danny, I'm just calling you about the email that I sent you and I tweeted you about it as well. Yeah. No, it's all looking, it's all alright. Um, what about yourself? What are you up to? I've been, I've been in the New Forest this weekend. Oh yeah? Cycling and walking and eating and drinking. That was with the missus, right? That was with the missus. Who has spectacularly failed to bring through any kind of baked goods this week. Well, I think because of that reason, being in the remote part of... Where, where is it? Dorset? Yeah, Dorset. You see, this is sounding like one of those things where we have to define the difference between a reason and an excuse. And yeah. feeling like an excuse to me. I'd say she probably had about, in all, 90 minutes opportunity to bake something for us. And it wasn't enough to, you know, for the quality goods that... You two deserve. The thing is, how long do cookies take to make? You know, really. Oh. Text in, listeners. How long do cookies take to make? <laughs> drum and bass quality content, as always. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we do have some jungle and drum and bass this week. I think we a couple do. of bits. Um, should we play some? Let's get into it. Okay, Let's get this, into it. this one next. Oh, no, although, hang on, Matt, oh. what have you been up to? We missed you. Oh yeah, there. sorry. <laughs> Just the, the, the the charisma pit in the corner. <laughs> um, I have been in the studio this week in London. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, making some tunes. Who yeah. with? Uh, with a rapper called Black Josh. Hello, Black Josh. Um, Formula, um, formerly of Levels. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, formerly of Le- Levels. Um, not still of Levels. Or they disbanded, are they? I'm not sure. Okay. Maybe, well, maybe still of Levels, but definitely formerly of Levels. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Formerly and possibly currently of Levels. How did it go? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was good to just sort of get in the studio and, and, uh, and vibe on some new stuff. So, yeah, it was good. But Is yeah, what we got? what we got next? Okay, so up next we have Revan and Primitive Instinct, a tune called Back At It. Mm. Who picked this? I think I chose this one. Okay. Yeah. 
That chord sequence reminds me of some kind of 90s trance tune. That's showing my age here. <laughs> So yeah, what's the story with this one then, Matt? Uh, this one is out now, I think, on Midas Touch Recordings. Wh- which country is that from? Uh, I think they're based in Belgium. And I think it's by, it's just called Skeptics. Um, and someone else, I think, as well. So cool. bra- like a brand new label, basically. Yeah, nice. Rollers with techie bits. Rollers, baby. Techie roller bits. Um, do I need to play the bed next or just go straight into the next tune? You can go straight into the next one, keep the energy up. I think so, keep the listeners hype. Yeah. All right, uh, next up we've got Hugh Hard- Hardy, not Hardly. Hardly Hugh. Hardly Hugh with uh, No Compromise. Who picked this one? This was my selection. Okay. Um, this is, uh, it's, called, it's called No Compromise, as you said. It's on his EP uh, called Dreaming in Green, which came is out. That, is that a money reference or a weed it reference? Could, I thought it could be a money reference, but he doesn't seem the type to sort of make an EP about dreaming about money. Well, it doesn't like a Tory. Who drew, which drum and bass producers are Tories? Ooh. That's a good question. Yeah, because they'd re- they'd make an EP about money, wouldn't they? Maybe the more su- well, I imagine maybe the more successful ones. Maybe they started off on the left, and as they grew to once they got to the five figure DJ fees, and somebody's <laughs> yeah. like, you know, the ta- top tax rate is an outrage. <laughs> you know, drum bass should be trickled down. <laughs> <laughs> the bangers come down to the lesser DJs. <laughs> yeah, if only it was that simple. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's a cool cool tune by Hugh. He's Bristol based, uh, very melodic, uh, kind of garagey flavour. He is or the tuners. Both. Okay. Both. He's a, he's a he's a keysman. I think keysman. He plays is, that keysman. Even, is that a word? Keysman. He's yeah. Like a, he's a keysman. <laughs> well, it's, it's, you will be careful saying pianist on the radio in case like he's a pianist. But keysman is a safer thing to say, isn't it? Um, but yeah, he's, he plays in a band and he's 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 a very talented lad. Well, there you go. Hugh has the the foreign concept seal of approval. Thumbs up. Talent. Hugh. Yeah. It's an hospital. Yeah. It is indeed. Yep. Yeah. Wicked. All right. Here we go. Swoop. Oh, <laughs> 
Thing in summary, summary bubbler. Yeah, definitely. What well, we were chatting about this in the car on the way over, like what do you reckon the sound of the summer's going to be, and we were saying probably not neuro. No, I think people are saying a bit more uplifting than neuro this year. Yeah, they? definitely. Some uh, garagey vibes, bit of a UK funky. Yeah, just upbeat stuff. You know, summer of love vibes. You know, acid house, optimistic acid house. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Have you got any summary bubblers in the, in the works? Uh, no, just depressing minimal rollers, really. What about what about you, Gliffy? Have you got um, any um, any summary sci-fi bangers? Always, yeah, always got a bag of them. <laughs> you've got all sorts. You make a lot of different yeah. stuff, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, a lot you've, of you've got summary bubblers coming out your ass, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> very, very crude, man. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> How about you, Sam? I have summary bubblers coming out of my ass. Yeah, I'm seeing a doctor about it next week. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, um, I'm playing one of them, I think, on the show. Um, yeah, I don't know, just. You looking forward to summer? I mean, kind of obvious question, I guess, but like, it can't be worse than last summer, can it? Uh, yeah, I mean, yes, I mean, it's hard not to look, not look forward to summer, is it really, you know? It's hard, not, it's hard, hard not to, hard not, not, to not, not look, look backwards forward. to the forwards of summer. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, I mean, you're going to be outside, the sun's shining, uh, you can go and see people, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, first barbecue, right. so you know, I reckon. Yes. Have you got a barbecue? Well, yeah, it's a bit rusty. Have you got a proper barbecue? Have you got a little like metal no, it's box like thing? It's, it's a metal, it's a metal barrel you can burn stuff in. What's your barbecuing skills like? Pretty burny. Really? Gonna be honest, <laughs> not amazing. <laughs> My chef skills in general aren't amazing. Okay. Yeah, I went around to Sam's house and everything was pretty burny. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. That's the, that's good. What was in your dinner was pretty burny. That you no, imagine? no, no. I was just like, I just can imagine someone saying that. Okay. Know, after being at Sam's barbecue, you know. Yeah. Do you know what? Um, I yesterday not yesterday Saturday I ate some fish cakes that were seven days out of date and I feel fine oh no so <laughs> maybe this is because I've had the vaccine maybe because I've got an iron constitution or maybe like big fish cake is lying to us with these expiration dates well have we just blown the lid on blown the lid on cake. big, fi- <laughs> big, big fish, fish cake, cake ink yeah alright coming to this one Ali Zero talking to big fish uh, yeah Ali Zero Fox um, who chose this one? Me. That was you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go me. Dark house with the rats now. Everything eclipse lights spark out. I am on fire. We are sparkle. Careful with the something less it scotch you. Fuck up any rhythm if we want to. Yeah, don't be up the sit until it ain't you. Ride on the wave of good fortune. Anti the bad vibes, virus like nothing. Then I use your moving booby dolly pattern. If I move it in, well, I truly something spartan. Shot, yo. Living like a king up in a castle Night time kill an asperato Postman delivering a parcel To the silly billy message we a pass yo What the point of the message not a pass yo If you disrespect it yeah you know we a go blast yo Walk out, talk out Don't know what we bubble when we march out Dark house, where they rise now Everything eclipse lights walk out Walk out, talk out Don't know what we bubble when we march out Dark house, with the rise now Everything eclipse lights, walk out Look at my 
what the adventures we have to Me seeking the thing very often We deep in the thing, tell them caution Hard coating and what we fling never soften With the rash you attack where you starting Think a banana, the thing you are planting Seeds are the goodness so we planting Plant are the greenness, thing are where we spark yeah. Unmistakable tones of Manchester's Fox. Do you reckon Fox is underrated? Is he rated but underrated? Uh, it depends how you mean by rated. On what kind of scale are you? I feel like if you on? know about Fox, you know about him. But I don't know if he's like. He's got to be. He's one of the most distinctive voices in our our little world operating yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Did you guys check his album on Swing Ting as well? From yeah. I tell you what, actually, my my like family members who have heard him. They're always the tracks that they pick out and go, that guy's really good. Like, he's the most accessible for non drum and bass yeah, yeah, people. Yeah. For whatever reason, they really like his his style. Not for whatever reason, I mean, as in, I like for whatever reason, I don't I get it. I can see why they like his style, <laughs> but he translates a wor- well across mm. outside of drum and bass, totally. Yeah, no, definitely. All right, this one, this, one, this one coming up is Skylark Bar Obsession or Obsession by Skylark? Obsession by Skylark. Okay. Who, um, who's Skylark? Skylark is a producer from. France, mm, I'm gonna say it's not to lose. I think it's too long. <laughs> wow. Yeah.
So you're just saying there, it's pretty uh, pretty large amount of quite epic tunes coming out at the minute, it seems like. Big synth line in that. Yeah. You were saying it sounded very Christopher Nolan. It sounded like the sort of thing that could be on a Christopher Nolan film soundtrack, yeah. That sort of epic uh, crescendos. I wonder if that's because people have been stuck indoors for last year, writing, you know, watching Netflix and films and... It's you know not clubbing, so everyone's a bit more on that vibe. What do you reckon? Quite possibly. Yeah, we'll quite never know. Um, okay, this one. We're going through the tunes quite quick here. We are. We've only got <laughs> a set amount of tunes, so we might have to slow down a bit. We might just play them twice. Yeah. All right, this one. Uh, down for whatever by Lensman, and this is the Jubai. 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 Jubai remix. Haven't you got some mad story about visiting Jubai up north? Uh, yeah, I don't know a mad story, but I, I visited him in Blythe, which is a small provincial town near Newcastle, um, which has got, I think, the highest uh, heroin user rate in the UK. And I went and stayed. Yeah, I went and stayed with him and at his house, and I got there. And these guys next door, they were working out in the in the front garden. There's about eight of them just pumping iron, just going for it. And I sort of gave him a look. Oh yeah, the other thing was the cab driver told me from Newcastle station to Blythe. He said. You're not from around here, are you? Don't is, that your, is that your Geordie accent? That was like, I, I'm not going to try my Geordie accent on there. They were like, don't open your mouth when you're there because they do not like southerners. <laughs> so I was like, okay, great. I mean, I, I feel that myself, to be honest. Yeah, so uh, there were these guys working out when I got there, sort of gave them the nod, you know, just the sort of quiet nod <laughs> to say, like, yeah, you know, Jim, yeah, love it, all that. And um, I went fancy in. doing a couple, couple lifts. Show them, show them what you're made of doing a couple of lifts no right? no I wasn't move, ready for move, that move yeah, aside. Yeah, no, these are big guys anyway so about 2 in the morning I'm on Paul Sofa GBA Sofa and I hear this like grunting outside it's like ugh, ugh, ugh. and I sort of like open the curtain really sort of slowly and they're outside just pummeling each other like <laughs> fist like bare knuckle box fighting Jesus. at like 2 in the morning so they've been working out all day just to then bare knuckle box fight at like wow. 2 in the morning um, so yeah that was that was my blithe Story. Was there like an outside arena or was it? No, just no, like this is just literally a front garden. Wow, okay. with like potted plants. Front garden or back garden? Front garden. This is the front garden. Just on, on the show. On, the on the show. <laughs> Two <laughs> in the morning, just going for it. Wow. Yeah. Did it look like they were? So, so lens. We were talking over your tune entirely here, but like, was it like you know consensual fun fighting or? Was no, I think that's it. I think they'd be working out to pump up, then just like pound each other all night. <laughs> 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 so, so, so. I need so to retract that statement. Yeah. Um, to just yeah, bare knuckle box fight each other. It was it was like amicable fighting in a way. It yeah, was yeah, like, that's what know, I mean. Exactly. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, like yeah. they were having an actual. No, they fight. weren't having it out. No, no, it was like you know they were all sort of friends. Yeah. Well, and now back to the tasteful roller. Yes. Sweet.
This one we just had Bastion Goat with lip prints on Duke Bounce, Bounce Work out of LA. Got a big up Noir and Jay Drago and all the crew out there. And a big up to Bastion as well, who has had me to stay at his yard a few times when I've been out on tour in America. Lives in Oakland. And um, yeah. Good tune, that. Big Great tune. tune. Yeah, Good yeah. tune. We were having a little chat while that was playing about the um, the sort of that period about five years ago where you could kind of. It feels like more then than now you could get away with playing that stuff in the drum and bass set and people would, yeah. you know, people like Stray were doing stuff that's influenced by that as well. Yeah. Obviously Charlie, Fracture, um, you made quite a bit of 160 as well, Matt, didn't you? Yeah. Obviously and then, like, I did. More sounds and yeah. Um, yeah, a few others as well. And it feels like maybe things have got a little bit like less open minded in the last few years? Or is this just the sound of an old man shouting at the clouds? Uh well we're all getting on a bit, so it's difficult to say if that's just our Old, apart from you, Matt, who's forever young, forever twenty-one, baby, forever twenty-one. 
But um, your favorite yeah, clothing shop. I'd I'd agree that you know that period was the last I remember of people being being able to express their interests outside of drum and bass. Whereas now a lot of drum and bass tunes sound like the people reference, that reference, they reference their favorite drum and bass tunes. Yeah of the present it's a shame really because I feel like a lot of the foundations of drum and bass was built upon of course you know incorporating other elements of, yeah. of music they, they enjoyed and that's kind of what that for me represents that that sort of that style of music you know they're, they're taking influences from everything else and then kind of putting into that and I feel like drum and bass now doesn't really have that as much I think so I mean what you, 100% like you know the whole reggae bass lines over sped up funk breaks is what jungle was wasn't it so yeah I guess the other thing is drum bass has become a lot more popular in the last, say, four years than it had been in the last ten years, I, I think, yeah. from my perception. And also the way that young people are consuming it is short video clips. You know, that's how they're sharing it and consuming it. So the music almost follows now the technology, I, I think. You know, mm. that sort of like high impact sound. What can be most impactful? What can be most impactful in on an Instagram story? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, it's, it's now people competing for views and plays and maybe we, we are getting to like old farts moaning territory but I'd say that almost is a precursor to the music being made is the technology in which it's being consumed. I mean the thing is though I've always enjoyed making a short tune. I don't have a problem with short tunes. Um, yeah, your tunes are two and a half minutes. over before you've even worked out what's going on. Yeah, you're still playing, you're still doing the <laughs> intro mate. <laughs> No, I mean, I don't have a problem with short tunes. It's just that, like, I think it's just the self-referentiality. Like, that was what was boring for me for drum and bass, kind of maybe in the... A bit, 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 bit before that period we're talking about, like, yeah. the, maybe um, the, the 2010s, and late 2000s, early 2010s, where it kind of felt a bit like, yeah. you know, and obviously there's always other stuff happening. It had Autonomic come on, which was super different. But again, that was very much referencing stuff outside of the, yeah. the, the standard, so... I think it's just a phase. These things always go in cycles, and we'll see something come through where it's like someone does something totally different and flips it again, and yeah. that's going to happen. And um, yeah, but it, I think I think we're getting to the point where I'm quite ready for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think on a positive note, though, I'd say um, that I've always thought that you know the sort of the age range of say 18 to 21, maybe they get into what we deem as more commercial drum and bass, and then as they get older, it's sort of their ear tunes into what we deem as cool drum and bass but I'm not you've got to be careful because you don't want to decide because it's like okay I don't want to say cool and okay but well maybe they're the wrong I don't, terms I don't, it's, it's, it's not that there's any particular tunes I, I really dislike it's it's like the lack of variety sometimes you know what I mean yeah. and like you know there's some of the super loud super banging stuff is amazing like it mm. always is like even you know think about stuff in the 90s like the 90s jump up was at the time dismissed as being you know, um, just dance floor tunes. You look back and it's like more innovative than a lot of the other stuff that's out there. Yeah. It's just that like, I think there's also a technical, like the technical side of it, the flip of what you're saying about Instagram is that like, you know, a lot of people are using the same sample packs and the same serum yeah. preset packs. And Well, that's a good point. Also, the uh, pathway to learning production is now a lot more laid out than it ever was. You know, before it was like, get some gear and try and sit there and work out what you're doing with it. Whereas yeah, on a Saturday night in the pub toilet, no, but in the, <laughs> not that kind of gear. Not that kind of gear. Yeah, I mean, either hardware or even software to a certain degree. But these days, it's you know you've got a lot of production tutorials, a lot of subscription services where you're taught how to make a certain sound like someone else. Like here's how to make a noisier release, yeah. or here's how to make an Alex, you know that sort of stuff. So people are learning directly by comparison to other people's sounds. So that, again, helps... Yeah, whereas I think often, sort of often the interesting stuff comes sound. from... A lot of interesting things in dance music is when someone tries to make something but doesn't know how to, and exactly. they in, in the process the makes something amazing. Yeah, totally. You know, it's like the whole thing of house music, maybe being people trying to make disco on drum machines and synths, yeah. getting it completely wrong, making something amazing in the in the, um, in the the process, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, anyway, just um, an end, end rant there, but then before that we had the Lensman Jube... Uh, Newcastle story, but yes. um, just to yeah. be clear, then that that's on Lensman's album. I I talked a lot about Jube there, but that's Lensman's track, a remix of a track that Paul's done. But that is on L- Lensman's album, so we should give some props to Lensman. Anyone got any good stories about visiting Lensman? <laughs> Not really. I, I saw him once when he came to Bristol, uh, played a gig at Thekla, but no, nothing. Nothing. How crazy. was it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. High praise indeed. I've got a, a, yeah. a, re, a sort of semi story about Lensman. He played before. Oh, so you got a semi story no, about semi-story. Lensman. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good looking lad. <laughs> he um, he played after me in a, at a show in Brighton. In fact, it was my first ever gig. Oh. And I remember playing, and there was all these like moody sort of lads at the front, sort of rocking out to my show. 
a set and he came on straight after me and straight away this like wall of girls just came flooding to the front I was like where the hell have they been and the thing was he well I don't know if I say this he had food poisoning that set so I was like where have all these women been my whole set this guy turns up with food poisoning and suddenly attracts <laughs> this harem of <laughs> amazing looking women to this set. anyway that was my lensman story nice nice yeah so yeah I think he's uh He's 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 a hit with the ladies. Lensman. Indeed, a magnet, some would a say. A magnet, yes. But not really. even with food poisoning. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Right. Coming up next, we've got um, one of our own members in the house uh, with a production. This bow, is bow. you, Matt, isn't it? Bow bow bow. Bow bow bow, man. This is uh, a track by you called Lackluster. That's that. I feel like calling in a track called Lackluster. You set yourself up for failure a bit, aren't you? Why? It's like it's like calling you. Okay, this is my new tune, mediocre. Yeah, but sometimes you just have to just just go whatever comes in your mind first. Yeah, and, but the track is not describing the track, is it? I mean, it's just the name of it. Can you separate the two? Do you not think if you hear a track called Lackluster, you're going to be like, oh, I don't expect much. Oh, maybe, maybe this is genius. Maybe it's going to blow us all away, because I've not heard this. Maybe maybe it's like, you thank, know... Thank you, hope so, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you're setting us up for low expectations, and you're going to come in with some next level-ish. Maybe, yeah. Should we find yes. out? Yeah, just run the rhythm. Some pounding, right. energetic <laughs> gabba tune. From, from Blythe. <laughs> So that's uh, far from that luster, Matt. Solid effort there. Good work. Thank you, sir. Very emotional. Yeah. What's the sample? Uh, Can't blow him up like that on air. Can't remember. I don't know. I put it in some gran- granular thing. Techers, mate. Techers. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Are you on that granular shit, yeah? Yeah, it's like occasionally. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, continuing the, continuing the section where we placed that we've been working on, this is a little remix I did for Neve out of, uh, I think out of Turin. 
somewhere yeah, in Italy. Yeah, I think it's Turin. Yeah, and um, but I've only even met him in Milan when I've been playing out there. Have you guys played at Leon Cavallo in um in Milan? It's like the mad no, mad no. sort of seventies squat kind of place. No, it's I played pretty... I played somewhere in Milan, but I think it was near Lake Lake Como. But I'm not sure if that's okay. It's like a big warehouse. Yeah. Maybe yeah. When's your Atlas thing coming out? Or is that just a sketch, work in progress? Yeah, just a little sketch. Yeah, yeah. I don't know when it'll. Is come it maybe out. for the the uh, larger project? It might be for a larger project. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the mysterious larger project. Um, this one's dropping May the seventh. And uh, Matt, you were talking about how much you love the eight weight cowbell sound. I love it as well. I do. Yeah, yeah. It's a perfect sound, isn't it? Yeah, I think you just distort it a little bit. It just sounds sick. You know what I mean? Do you know what? It's, it's, I feel like like they nailed Roland nailed like the 808 cowbell and the 909 ride is another beautiful noise it's like it's yeah. perfect you couldn't improve it yeah sounds so good just ragging that as well props to Roland talking about sounding good that remix is uh, sounding good it does sound good thanks <laughs> I'll be out there buying that when's it drop May the 7th for the third time in about a minute <laughs> but you know um, it's, on, yeah, it's on some label from LA I think called Elastic Rhythms nice nice hey, I think label. they did <laughs> that's just paid you <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know um, alright yeah. this is this is your choice for the um, tunes that we've been working on yes and this was a an all encompassing choice nice so I'm an all encompassing guy um, this is something by all three of us isn't it it is this Ooh, is that um, we probably made a while back now six months ago yeah we should we should crack on with that but it's just it's time man isn't it God, time. no gigs and no time I don't understand it yeah but this was we, well, we've made a few little tunes and this was the first one. And probably the best so far. And probably the best. That's why we stopped. Sweet. 103.7 FM.
So yeah, having listened back to that after a bit of a breather, I think that's pretty thumping to be honest. It's better than I remember, yeah. It's yeah. Good tune that. I like that. We we're just chatting there as well about like the um the balance between over listening to something and fixating on like weird details when you're like, Oh, this tune's terrible because the eight oh eight cowbell doesn't sit right and then listen to it about six months later you're like, What was I on about that tune's fine? Don't even notice it's got an eight oh eight cowbell in it. Well yeah. we won't go that far, mate. Yeah. Eight oh eight cowbell's a great noise. No, no, but I mean it's in you don't even you're not even aware no, of the issues. That existed in your mind six months. The eight-way cowboy is good. Of course, no one's no one's denying that. Better not be. But yeah, um, all right. Up next, we have a demo track, and I know who this guy is actually. I um, oh, do. You? Yeah, this is Ransom from DC in America. Ransom with a four for an A. A four for an A and a gun on yeah. his waist. I don't know if he's got a gun on his waist, no. but anyway, no, he's a super nice lad. Um, Boston, DC, DC, and. Um, he he'd gleaned from my social media that I was a big fan of Gogo, which is like, you know, um, I feel like busting loose, busting yeah. loose, give me the bridge now, boom, boom. Like that kind of music is Gogo, that scene. It was like a short lived, not short lived, it's ongoing still, but like it had a, a brief kind of moment in the sun. Right. It's very specifically DC kind of music, trouble funk, um, bands like that. Um, they have these special small congas, so it has like these really interesting percussion sounds. Um, and yeah, he obviously gleaned that I was into this kind of stuff. Came to my one show in DC uh, and brought me a Go Go record. Wow! So nice. yeah, do you know what America's been good Cut for me for gifts? Like I have a picture, a framed picture of Chimpo in my kitchen that got given in Boston, and Chimpo's got a framed picture of me somewhere. I don't know if it's his kitchen or not, but he got given in Boston as well. And then I got given this record in DC, and I think one of the no, oh, when I was with Halogenics, I think in. Um, in Denver, some some rave girl gave me her massive candy rave um, wristband thing, in like some kind of you know gesture of rave. Oh, like the edible ones? No, just like little plastic, li- literally a plastic. Um, oh, right, wrist, okay, yeah, you know, yeah, like you yeah. know the kind of the candy rave stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, in like a sort of heartfelt gesture of your rave solidarity. Wow, nice. So, nice, yeah, amazing. Americans are generous people. The West Coast are slacking though. The West Coast, you know, is in, in my bad books right now. We're going to that. <laughs> We're going into that. But. <laughs> No, I'm looking forward to getting back out there, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. Um, You're well-liked in America, aren't you? That's kind of your second home. Tolerated, tolerated. If not first home, in a way. I seem to to do all right. I've got to give the credit there to Bass Coast, really, because I played played Bass Coast in 2015 and had a really... You know one of them sets which goes really well? Yeah. And, like, everyone at Bass Coast that year, or in general, is seems to be, like, either promoters or the kind of party goers that, like, if they say someone's a good DJ, promoters will want to book them. And I feel like that, you know, that set going well at a good time slot in that festival set me up for like a really good run in America so yeah. and not only I've got to get a new visa and the borders are closed so Tough. yeah but yeah anyway so enough about America and on to this demo who, who picked this it was all of us wasn't it I guess well yeah I mean we had a load of submissions and we went through them and selected well there was two in fact we're playing two aren't we there's another one we're playing at the end of the show for different reasons which we can talk about at the end but this was what we thought maybe was the choice uh, submission for this month and the tune I believe is called PBR PBR yeah perhaps Blue Ribbon yeah I googled it it was something like Professional Bull Runners pa- perhaps Blue Ribbon perhaps Blue Ribbon yeah, maybe yeah, that's yeah, what it is yeah. it's the uh, the, 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 the okay. cheap hipster beer oh right okay yeah it's like the Red Stripe of America yeah that makes more sense alright let's run it Swoop
you know what, before we give some feedback on this, I'm going to read out the text number for the, uh, the burner phone, which is 07895619666. Have we had any text, Matt? Or has it been a, a, another shouting into the void? Battery's dead, as always. Yeah, yeah. yeah battery's dead, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. 07895 So yeah Text in let us know That you're out there Someone's out there Yeah exactly Give us a signal Please, Please We're begging We'll pay you for that text yeah. Just to know that someone's listening Matt will pay for that text um, Yeah okay So Ransom PBR I think the, the winner here Is the drums in it Yeah The brake work is great It's quality yeah That's um He's a brakesman He's a brakesman Not a keysman Because we think that, think the bass Can maybe use a bit more work Yes, that would be my one of my only critiques in a negative way would be that the the Reese could do a bit more a bit fatter. Yeah, a little bit more juice. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a more interesting melody as well with a better tone would would help it. Yeah, I think just push through because the the drums are great though. Really nice. Yeah, the drums are sick. The combination of breaks is really cool and as we were saying it's got that sort of old metal heads flavor. He's obviously um, you know, into that sort of sound and he's yeah, the drums are, are quality. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, good work, good work, Harry Shrekken Ghost, Shrekken Ghost, Shrekken Ghost. But yeah, Ransom anyway. R four Ansom, wicked. It's like All a right. car number plate, isn't it? It is. Okay, we're halfway through the show. How many tracks have we got left? <laughs> so we keep talking. What's next? Well, that's an easy question to answer. I think we just crack on, yeah. All right, so up next, I think we're going to straight into the uh, Critical Hype track. Critical Hype track. This is Kowza. Kowza. Yes, and the track is called... Form 1, mastered by TB, I believe. Okay. Yeah, Black Science Labs Mastering, which I think is TB. And uh, as far as I, what I know about Kowza is uh, she's called Nell. She's from Cardiff. Uh, I think she's only had a couple of releases before. I, I'm not sure if you came through this EQ50 scheme. To S- sort of pr- the government funded EQ50 <laughs> scheme. <laughs> um, Sunak side hustle. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's which was a, a scheme to promote women in drum and bass. But yeah, I think this is her first big release maybe on Binary. Nice. EP, and this is the lead track. Wicked. Um, so, has Critical had, had much female artists before? I know that Flight and Breakers did that... Um, Alias thing, didn't they? Uh, yes. Super early on. Super. That was a long time ago. And obviously, yeah. there plenty of work with Charlie Bricks as well. Yeah, as a producer, not. Yeah, I guess this is going on recently. They're working with this artist called Spectral, who is their EQ50 mentor. So we may hear some stuff from her. But yeah, as far as I'm aware, this is the first female produced EP, certainly. Sweet.
All right, Matt, I believe we have an international text. We do, uh, out to the 489. Uh, this one says, Big ups the dead battery gang. Tuned in from Madison, Wisconsin, out in the States. Not on the coast, so we don't matter. That's not true. I've been to Wisconsin. I went. I played a festival there called Infrasound, and it was very cold and rainy. But um, it was also the middle of nowhere. Drove for hours to get there, and went past all those kind of like um, you know those old barns you see, like the kind of classic Amish style barns. I don't think they were Amish, but like yeah, yeah. definitely wow. felt like we were you know like a good four hour drive from Duluth Airport. All right, from I think. From one female producer to another, we now have the best track title of the show. This is Slutty Siri by Lucy. Who chose this one? Oh, uh, yeah, this one's me. Last yeah. chose, I think. Nice. I just like the name of the It's the a team. great name, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, big up to Lucy. And, yeah. Did you guys check her um, set she did from Tower Bridge? Yeah, it was mad. It looked so sick. Yeah, man, definitely. Well, she did it from t- on Tower Bridge. Yeah, no, it was planned. Like, it was all legal or anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah, no, it's, it's, was it That's Fabric cool. and everyone got involved? Yeah, I think it was hosted by Fabric, yeah. Yeah, no, it's sick. So yeah, big up to Lucy. That is sick. I really like that. That's quality. Yeah, big tune. Yeah, big up to Lucy. Where's um, she? Where's she from, Lucy? Is she Bristol? She was. I think she's from Bristol, but she lives in London now. Okay. Uh, she is going out with Sherelle, I believe. Okay. So yeah, she wears the mask, doesn't she, Lucy? Uh, she used to pre COVID. Pre COVID, I mean. Yeah, she actually before the before COVID started, she stopped wearing the mask because she felt it was like not it wasn't really doing what she wanted it to do. Sort of maybe it wasn't quite respectful to other cultures which did wear masks. Right. So she stopped that anyway. Then COVID came along, and she obviously we're all wearing masks back again. Back on, so yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, also uh, out to the 287, uh, Marcus and Lee are out here listening in my car whilst cruising around Bristol. Yes, yeah, Marcus and Lee. Big up Marcus and Lee. Um, hope you're enjoying the show. Yeah, I should say this this part of the show is technically the non-DMB bit, um, that very much being not DMB, and that was Matt's choice, uh, Hieroglyphics. Fuzzy Cuzzy, this is you, this is, um, who is this? This is Kinlaw and Franco Franco, who are also Bristol based. Voglia dire dare sub espreme zero story e zero story 
Franco spam, sciolgo spatto in capo, tra rabbia e caldo Fare un flusso con una prod che provide sano scan Preso bene se il cat è netto come un alien in da Django Alessandro Can è l'autore quindi livello alto, livello marcio grazie al clan di P.O. Resto sempre grezzo nell'approccio perciò Qualsiasi cosa che mi passa in mente la filtro in relazione al rispetto al bene che ho per la mia gente Mo' ABS, mi scialo per il ballo fricchettone, mezzo pan, picchi con fi Ti graf, code 9 grass, tutti sopra il grass, si c'è l'anza chiacchiere Giornata succiosa al park, mezzi umani e mezze macchine Influenzi mai, sal con quello che c'è attorno Traina Dodge, palle, buoni e Bosch, con la puzza addosso Visi a fare il brutto e il bello allo stesso tempo Ma resto sempre un rat a fare fat nel bordello Dallo sa, che con il ratavo e vista da di qua Dal già lo sa, di... Dal giallo sa, vi sai, c'è con Franco, vai, vai, quello fa, di... Just gonna shout out Naomi, who's giving live feedback on my Instagram. What's she Thank saying? Thank you for it. I'm not gonna tell you what she's saying. <laughs> that, was a, that was a sick tune, though. That's a good tune, isn't it? Yeah, I liked it. It was, um... Polarizing. Polarizing. Yeah, it's um, it's called. Well, you'd, you'd read it as fat com, but I imagine it's come, which is, means I mean I think in Italian it means like fattish or something like that. But yeah, it's cool. Anyway, Sam, you're up next. What have you picked? I've uh, picked very topical. Um, this, this underground Humpty Dance. R.I.P. My, yeah, R.I.P. Shock G. Um, this is my favourite snare in hip hop. I'm gonna pull this up again, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's the quality change. Yeah. Pull up. The, the rebound. I can't beatbox. Thank God. you're doing cause I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to I look funny but yo I'm making money see so yo world I hope you're ready for me now gather round I'm the new fool in town and my sound's laid down by the underground I drink a bottle of Hennessy you got on your shelf so just let me introduce myself my name is Humpty pronounced with the Humpty yo ladies oh how I like to funk thee and all the rappers in the top 10 please allow me to bump thee I'm stepping tall y'all and just like Humpty Dumpty you're gonna fall when the stereos pump me I like to rhyme I like my beats funky I'm spunky I like my oatmeal lumpy I'm sick with this straight gangster Mac But sometimes I get ridiculous I'll eat up all your crackers and your licorice Oh, yo, fat girl Come here, are you ticklish? Yeah, I called you fat Look at me, I'm skinny It never stopped me from getting busy I'm a freak I like the girls with the boom I once got busy in a Burger King bathroom I'm crazy Allow me to amaze thee They say I'm ugly, but it just don't faze me I'm still getting in the girls' pants And I even got my own dance Now, Humpty Dance is your chance to do it all Well, on a very tenuous link, this underground, this song often seems to be quite humorous. This now brings us seamlessly to the Discord and the jokes that have been submitted therein, which maybe the funniest guy I know, Hieroglyphics, is going to read out. Hey, that's me. Hey. Hey, hey, hey buddy. All right. Um, what do you call an ugly dinosaur? I don't know. What do you call an ugly dinosaur? An eyesore. Oh, um. terrible. That'd also work if it's a bad joke about what you call an apple, apple-designed apple dinosaur, the eyesore. Yes. Equally yeah. as bad a joke, Equally, though. Yeah. Uh, who's the coolest guy in the hospital? Uh, the uh, I know this one. Ultrasound. Yeah. Hey. Ultrasound guy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And lastly, but not leastly, uh, this is from Connie Lockstock. It says, "I heard Elon Musk has opened a restaurant on the moon. Good food, but the place lacks atmosphere." I mean, <laughs> I've heard that joke before, but not about Elon Musk. <laughs> that's, that's an updated, that's, modern that's, version, isn't it? The 2021 we, version. Yeah, if we can get that to be about Bitcoin, then it'll be fully on trend. I'm sure we had some more, didn't we, as well? But anytime, I, well, thinking of Elon Musk, I do like that thing where it's like, you know, Elon Musk is actually not his full name. 
which is abbreviation for elongated musk rat. So yeah, that's every time I see his name. Isn't I think his of that. baby called like E equals M C X A, Y? Yeah, yeah so it's something series of weird well, yeah, that, that's because his missus is Grimes. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So just the three jokes this month, or is there? I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of that's. Yeah. that's, that's to be honest, that's I can quite tell rich one pickings. more though. Uh, yeah. yeah, you got what? Is it one got, of your own? Yeah, this is one of my own. This is called. Uh, this is, this is called <laughs> the joke's got a title. <laughs> this joke is called <laughs> the Aristocrats. Um, yeah. yeah. So my doctor told me I'm going deaf. The news was hard for me to hear. Hey, that's like an updated version of you know, Doctor Doctor. I feel like a pair of curtains. Pulls you up together, man. <laughs> yes. And uh, Doctor Doctor, I uh, keep singing Tom Jones songs. Well, it's not unusual. Ooh. I've missed a bit out of that joke, haven't I? I think you have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got any ones, Matt? Uh, Doctor jokes. Any Just jokes? In general, yeah, yeah. Your best joke recently. Uh, best joke recently. I can try and do a Doctor Doctor joke. Um. I know. I went to the doctor, and I said, "Oh, I've, um, I'm struggling to hear what people are saying." And he said, "Oh, what are the symptoms?" And I said, um, "Oh, they're a yellow cartoon family from Springfield." <laughs> nice, like that. All right. Anyway, moving on quickly. Yeah, we have uh, a tune by Whack Jerk Force. Uh, this yeah, is. He gets a lot of love in this show, doesn't he, Jack? Yeah, he does. He does. But I always say his name the wrong way around because it amuses me. Yeah. You've really been pushing that joke since episode one. <laughs> and I will do until it gets the love that <laughs> it deserves. Get kicked off the air. <laughs> All right, this is Reasons. Who picked this one? I think this is me. I think this is forthcoming 1985, but I, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm just trying to look it up now. No, it's definitely not. Critical and Swift FM, um, cutting edge drum and bass information. I know, information. it's definitely, it is, yeah, it is. Wait. It's, uh, it's on the Care and Consideration EP, forthcoming on 1985. Care and Consideration EP? Yeah, that's what it's called. I like the name. Really? Do you mean to read the yeah. uh, the blur? Are, are you quite a caring and considerate person? Well, it's just a quite a funny name for drum bass. Funny? funny? Funny how? Funny, funny how? Yeah, maybe it's not funny. I just yeah. do you read the blurb. Sorry, yeah, read the blurb. Presenting the stunning care and consideration EP from an artist that needs no introduction. Here's, an, here's the introduction. Here's the, here's the full int- yeah, here's his full bio. His understanding of groove production and composition and his many years of experience, coupled with his, with his inspirational work ethic, are why he is truly one of the best producers around. And that's out on the 28th of May. On 985? On 985 Music. By Whack Jerk Force. Yeah. Swoop. 103.7 FM.
Uh, we have Jack Workforce with Reasons coming 1985. And as always, very, very sick drums. Bit of a, a Workforce trademark, we were saying. Yeah. So, yeah, country. Matt, you were saying that you've done a seated gig recently. Yeah, yeah, I played um, an Engage show uh, at The Cause. Uh, I think it's called Costadale Tot- Tottenham now. Okay. Uh, for the summer. But, yeah, yeah, it was all right. Um, what do you, the thing with sit-down gigs, it's, it's a weird one because... The vibes are often super good at the start because everyone's like, oh my God, we're in a space and there's music and I'm with my friends again. And I found the fun ones I've got to, I'm like, at the start, I'm super excited. And after a while, you're kind of like, oh, it just makes me miss how good it should be in a way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a teasing of that, you know, this is what it could be, but it's not. And then it's just... At least, I guess it keeps the embers burning, doesn't it? Until you have to keep the fire burning. The fire can be fanned and flamed a bit more. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, interesting one, isn't it? I think... Yeah, hopefully no major disasters. We're back to it before too long. Fingers crossed. But yeah, going from one set of good drums to another, this is the Coco Bryce remix of Give It To Me by Dev Null and Tim Reaper. I think both me and you wanted to put this we in the... We both selected this, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, banger. Good taste. Yeah. Well, taste. and handsome as well. Many things we have in common. But yeah, great tune. Came out on... Uh, Lobs- coming out Lobster Theremin. Yeah, coming out soon, I think. Soon, yeah. It's on Tim Reaper's EP. And it's just a, a nice, jungly, upbeat. It's got a slight melancholy. Like, a bit melancholy, yeah. Do you know what? I think a lot of the best dance music, right, has what I think of as being like melancholy euphoria. Mm. It's like uplifting and euphoric and, and, and high energy, but there's an element of sadness twinged with it, and it's that, that bit yeah. of sweetness mm. makes it... It's like Hive Mung- Hive Mungo, that tune yeah. is probably a good example. That's his ultimate example, yeah, probably... Your hands, like, your hands are in the air, but the tears are rolling down your face. <laughs> well, that that was the classic quote about Derek May, wasn't it? It was like, you didn't know whether you should um, be dancing or crying, or both. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think that's... Uh, yeah, that tension is what makes it work so well, doesn't it? If it's, if it's just pure happy, then you've got happy hardcore, and nobody wants that. And if it's pure cry, then you've got burial, and Radio what Head. happened to his career? You know, No one likes burial anymore. No. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. No one wants to dance with Radiohead either. Yeah. But yeah, the tension is good. Should we play it? Let's play it. Great, that, innit? Coco Bryce. 
pretty much dominated the last uh, he's doing 18, bits. 12 months to 18 he's months. doing bits. The bits are being done. He's, he's doing the work. Yeah. Yeah. And Tim Reaper. Yeah, definitely. And Killer Tim combination. Reaper. Yeah. Um, I don't know much about this Devnall guy, but yeah, keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Damning with faint praise there. These two guys are amazing. Oh, there's some dudes here. Devnall, send a demo in. <laughs> and you can get played on 2FM on the Critical <laughs> Show. All right, coming up next, uh, we have Gallery S Many Hands. I think I chose this. I'm going to be honest, I can't remember what it sounds like. It's gonna... another jungly number. And a seamless blend from Young Bingles. Dan at earth-agency.com is <laughs> your <laughs> port you, of call. Are you going to ask for this type of mixing desk on your tech rider when you go and back this to... And uh, this kind of mic as well. And this kind of mic, yeah, yeah this definitely. whole setup. Yeah. It's going to be more of an education. Just you sat down. Discussing music <laughs> live at Fabric. <laughs> no, you cannot, One, c- come two, back, two everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Don't go and smoke. There. It's bad for you, honestly, kids. You won't regret it when you're older. Yes, that's Gallery S, Many Hands. That's wicked, again. A lot of yeah. jungle vibes coming around right now. Coming back. Coming back. Possibly a bit of throwback, but also a lot of fun, aren't they? You can't beat, you can't beat jungle music. Indeed. And you know what you also can't beat? Our regular section of Turbo Island Discs. As much as they tried, they can't beat it. This is Rob from The Blast, and these are my Turbo Island Discs.
Right, Rob. <laughs> you've not really covered yourself in glory with that. And the audio quality of this particular choice of... Who is it? Squeeze. What's the tune called? Uh, up the Junction. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, to give um, Rob a bit of fairness, he has been promoting a big festival that he's launching this week. However, yeah, the remit was send in uh, a track selection with the audio saying why you've picked it and that, at the very least what the track is called. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe also who you are. So for, that, for those listening at home, Rob is part of uh, the, one of the main Bristol promotion teams, The Blast. They do regular shows at Motion, booking everyone in the bass music world. They also do a festival called Sequences, which we're talking about. Yeah. That's happening this year, hopefully, at Greville Smythe. Greville Smythe Park. Well, I don't know if that's been announced yet. Oh, uh, Well, it has in... It ha- I live right by the park, so amongst the... The sort of local community it has, um, but I don't know if it has the sort right of now. the. Shit. It's been okay. Oh, it's, it's been no. It's been, okay, it's we're been getting announced. a nod. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So um, yeah, top lad and top, top lads. great promoters, uh, but this hasn't been the best Devil's Desert Island disc. I've got to be honest. You know what I mean? Well, he, he just didn't really give much to it. He sort of um, wasn't very given of himself. He did. He did email me actually later on after submitting it and said uh, he gave some vague reason why he picked the track and I'm going to try and find it quickly on my email it was something along the lines of here we go uh, I love Squeeze and this is an ode to all junctions turbo or not ok it's gone to conceptual yeah ok let's move on I'll wait a week for that yeah <laughs> thanks Rob cheers Rob we'll do, we'll, do you know what we'll, we'll try Tom next and see yeah, what Tom from the blast says yeah. alright anyway so moving on the next section is our artist spotlight and who have we got this week month well We've had some reservations from one of our uh, radio members over the last few weeks that or months that we've been picking two old artists, two older artists, and uh, we needed someone more current um, that they could pick from the pool from. That was you, of course, Matt. The resident well, young no, person. That was Sam. The resident young person. <laughs> uh, so we've gone with someone a bit more modern. And this is Paul and McCartney. Well, they'll say that. They've yeah, they're not maybe not so modern than drum bass anymore. But yeah, Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. this is Ivy Lab. Yes. Ivy Lab um, okay, first up we have Brat by Ivy Lab. This is a n- new bit, isn't it? No, no. this is a no. uh, really old tune, yeah. Okay, yeah. Right, you pick this. Yeah. Any any words for it? I just, I just thought it was... When it, when it first came out, it was pretty cool because it was doing a lot of different things than a lot of drum bass was doing at that time. So I just thought it... You know, when I, when I had it in, in, in dance, it was... Is this, is this critical? Yeah, 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 this is from one of their EPs, I think, on Critical. This is the B side of Afterthought. Ah, okay. Sick. Deep tech knowledge. 2015, like I'd say. This would be the original lineup. Yeah. Yes. Do we want to mention about that? About. No, no. No, 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 no. No, okay, so obviously, back in 2015, Ivlab was a trio uh, Halogenics, Sabre, and yeah, Stray. A powerful threesome that came together. And what, and now they're a weak, sickly no, threesome? No, I just meant they were three people on top of their game that came together. And now they're two people who have fallen off the game. <laughs> You're cussing at Ivlab quite That's badly not what I'm here, saying. Matt. That's pretty, not what pretty I'm offensive. Saying. No, um, but yeah, Halogenics obviously smashing his own stuff out now. And um, Stray and Sabre killing it with the Ivlab project, especially stateside, I'd say, as well. Yeah. And they've been doing loads of interesting videos on, YouTube, on Instagram recently with various dance crews doing their, going to their stuff as well, which is always good to see. I was actually at a um, video shoot yesterday for a UK funky tune with Redders, and they had Joker's younger brother there, who's a sick dancer as well. And Oh yeah, he rented a studio off me, and he'd always been there dancing. Yeah, I always remember seeing him in there dancing. Yeah, he's, good. he's amazing. He's a good dancer, lad, yeah. Swoo. Yeah. 
Definitely a very different side to Ivor Lab, that one, I'd say. Yeah, an original Ivor Lab production. Indeed. Well, they were doing some of that sort of stuff at that time, sort of slightly more techy stuff. I think people look back and think, like this, liquid. Liquid and then, and then half time. And then half time. But they were doing some like more techy things back then, um, which is probably more the Sabre influence. You know, he was doing quite a lot of techy stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, that's a great tune. Well, so this, is, this is Live On Your Smile by Ivy Lab. Yes, Live On Your Smile. Uh, this was around 2014, another critical tune. This is probably one that, you know, for, for the Ivy Lab fans who love their liquidy drum bass, and liquidy's not maybe the right term for it, but this is the epitome. This sort of the epitome of it. This was the, the key one. I remember, I don't know if I was doing a tour with Lawrence somewhere or something, and he played me a sketch of this, of all the tunes they were writing at the time. I remember hearing this one and it's been like, wow, that that, is quality. that's the winner. That little bass hook and that vocal combo, yeah, that's quality. Swoop. producer fanboying in the studio right now for how small that snare is and um, so how not pushed snare. yeah petite yeah. but it cuts through and also just how like not pushed the mix is like there's a lot yeah. of space in it it's not the loudest tune it sounds great in the system but it's an anthem yeah play it now it still goes off okay. and uh, yeah the next one was so my I'm choice the contentious this, is, this has been mentioned choice. before the controversy I don't see it as being controversial so this this whole section is uh, really geared up to showcasing a, another producer or producers that we all enjoy or have some sort yep. of experience from. And some kind um, of experience from. Yes. Original. Yeah, and the experience I had from this was that they remixed my track AO. And when I first heard this remix, I wasn't sure about it. And now I say, I swear that they went, I, I told them to go back and do more work in it and it came back sounding better. Lawrence claims that didn't happen. <laughs> but I think that whatever version got released sounded better than the first one I heard. But yeah. What's the problem with, with choosing an Ivy Lab remix on my tunes? You just judged you didn't get one. Well, the problem is that we had said specifically no remixes. I don't recall that. You said it. I don't recall that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fake news. Um, uh, but yeah, but it's it's a good a good tune. I think it's good as well just because it's the halftime halftime side of things. This was from a very exciting point in in my life, and I think for everyone that was doing this kind of thing, like the halftime thing was really experimental, interesting, and doing really well. Yeah. It felt like a really fresh side of D&B and up tempo music in general. Yes. And uh, maybe that window's a bit more closed now, as we were saying earlier, but like, yeah. uh, you know, AO was my my first release on Critical yep. on Modulations, and one of my biggest biggest releases, you know, on Critical ever. Been downhill since there. <laughs> and um, yeah. Uh, but this was before the sort of halftime became very pushed and dance floor this was still when it was a bit open and interesting and light and 
yeah rhythmical and all that sort of stuff rather than just sort of poundy yeah places. definitely uh, this, this is the thing I think like you know like there was set. yeah there yeah. definitely was like a bro element came into it after a while but yeah. this this was um, yeah I think this is a wicked wicked tune and a really good drinks I'm very glad they did it and it came out on a nice 10 inch and I love 10 inch records Hey yo, I'm a chocolate show. Everybody knows that I'm bigger than the road. Everybody knows that I'm bigger than the beat. Everybody knows that I'm bigger than the street. Everybody knows that I spit big bars. Three boys have got no time for bars. Everybody knows on the right it's far. Shine so bright, I leave them with scars. Everybody knows you're checking breeze. You should take a seat. That no one spit that fire. So go on and just retire. See how I write this beat. You should take a leave. When I'm in the main cave, not alone. You know I run this beat. Hey yo, I'm a chocolate show. Everybody knows that I'm bigger than the road. Everybody knows that I'm bigger than the beat. Everybody knows that I'm bigger than the street. Everybody knows that I spit big bars. Three boys have no time for bars, everybody knows on the right is far. Shine so bright, I leave them with stars. Everybody knows your truck and breeze. You should take a seat. Got no one's been that way. So go on and just retire. See how the bank is me. You should take a leave. When I'm in the bank, ain't nothing wrong. You know where one is me. Now, Matt, you were saying there's some kind of interesting, exciting drama going on with the lead synth from this. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, interesting, exciting. I don't know if I'd choose either of those words, but all I was saying was that um, they made this track and they did it on the Virus TI synthesizer. And somewhere along the line, they sold that synth and then ne- realised they needed to uh, rebounce this tune. Well, I just had to liked it. Which might have been when you popped up saying, yeah, change it. And. Um, I think I was the only person Lawrence knew with a virus synthesizer, so he called me up and said, can you redo this lead sound for me, bounce it out? And that is the sound you're hearing on that tune. I'd never heard that till tonight. Yeah, I don't know. You witnessing, that. There was witness, no need wow. to mention that. Witnessing history live on Sue FM tonight. And I was never credited. Oh, never credited. oh. shit. Where's the 5%, man? Yeah, come it's on. Not on my side, though. That's out of their end. <laughs> they sold the synth, not me. <laughs> All right, so that ends our little Eiffel Lab spotlight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Top lads. And and Top modern. Lads. Are you happy, Matt, now, Matt? Are we going go back to obscure 90s. Yeah, we're going to do, uh, you know, book them next. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, who's that? What? Uh, yeah, anyway, who's, right. Who is Pesce as well? Do you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> one of your most amazing troll tweets of the last few months. <laughs> um, all right, next up, speaking of young people, we have AC13, who's about 12, isn't he? 12.5 and covered in tattoos yeah 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 um, he actually ch- just came back from New Zealand yeah it's a mad tour out there look crazy um, look crazy do you know where his name comes from is it anything to do with his line of his duty? name is air conditioning something oh it's like Albert no wait Clifford doesn't it? I'm not sure I know his last name's Carmen but I don't okay. know if that's that because I don't know if you watch line of duty but AC12 yeah. are the division of the police force in line of duty oh wow which is obviously very in vogue at the moment what, the that. police are in vogue right now? Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> no, the BBC drama. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't know if it was something to do with that. Maybe not. Am I happy with what I'm doing? Am I happy with the way my life is going? Am I happy with the way my life is going? Do I have a life? Do I have a life? Or am I just living? Or am I just living? Do not let these questions restrain or trouble you. Just point yourself in the direction of your dreams. Find your strength in the sound. Make your transition. And make your transition. Make your transition. Find your strength in the sound. And make your transition. Make your transition. Make your transition. Find your strength in the sound. And make your transition. Make your transition.
make your transition. your trans big sample there from young AC 13 yes uh, all right this one original sin and x-man on the incredibly prolific souped up yeah by a man like serum yes uh, I mean what can you say about this tune it's original sin is x-man it's x-man definitely the best man uh, it's his classic fun jump up sound semi automatic blap 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 start cabin and chatting too much happen bro you ain't on drop i fight the walk like a block off get one off the blocks make him and a big time drop feel like in the shot feel like in the shot Back on the rampage, a man that can't rain on my parade Explode like a hand when they know the bait They can't dictate how I elevate X and the way rule when the game's on a mission Smashing all competitions straight Wait, they're man a moving bait Trust X, I remain and I stay two steps ahead of this game Black, I will maintain My name won't fade Just the music music's engraved in my veins Man, this one's up for the chain X not like your brains One in the back street, one in the main Try to look off your head like your cocaine Rah! Here we go, let's shot, shot. Here we go, let's shot, shot. Here we go, let's shot, shot. No for the no one, no fashion, but with passion I set the pace, bro Why you act up and you will get hit with the hand of God like Diego Set on my life, this one's flames Bring heat and fire for way, go straight up shelling, no more games Artillery like in NATO No for the no one, no fashion, but with passion I set the pace, bro Why you act up and you will get hit with the hand of God like Diego Set on my life, this one's flames Bring heat and fire for way, go straight up shelling, no more games Games Left one's walking crazy, reckless, check it, don't be pathetic They don't want it, cuz forget about talking sideways Let's get straight to the topic If man are moving all bookie and trying to circulate gloss Sip X hard black and up both their eyes like one of them weirdo gothics from out of the pocket drop for the rocket pop it man will get robbed we start capping and chatting too much yapping bro you ain't on drop I fight them off like a Glock Ops get run off the blocks Mayhem when the baseline drops Peace. You know what X-Men's got a sick voice Sick voice And um, I love Zinc and X-Men rolled slow Okay yeah And there was a little video online somewhere Or maybe on some DVD or something Where Zinc was talking about how he like made the beat for roll slow Right And then like just X-Men having to be wandering past the studio And like popped in And Zinc was like oh do you want to jump on this And yeah. came through and dubbed it And I was always like that's what I've always wanted out of music Like that kind of situation to walk past your studio and Kind of that kind of thing of like Yeah I'm just part of the community And like someone's sick could just be passing through And they could do something which makes your tunes yeah. sound amazing Do you, do you know, know what I mean There's a story I read about Calibre He was doing his album And he was having his house decorated and the guy doing the painting was like singing in the background and he was like, do you want to be on a track, mate? And he recorded him and I think it's like Kia, like the tracks we've called, K-O-Y-A, it's on his like, I can't remember the, the album's called, one of his big albums. But it was just his painter who was just like happened to be singing in the background Sick. and now he features wow. on like this massive track. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love that. I love the fact that, I love the way that with music you can meet people that, all these kind of connections that you wouldn't meet in a lot of other walks of life. I yeah, love totally, that. Yeah, totally, yeah. But yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a great tune. This is one of those classic, like, double gun fingers, wide hands, like, going to ravens. <laughs> if people, I, wish, I wish people could see this right now. Yeah, hopefully there'll it's, be some video footage yeah. of the dance that Matt is doing right now. <laughs> Please cut yeah. that. All right, listen, this is, uh, again, like, I think the last few shows have been very hieroglyphics focused. This one is maybe more me focused, because another tune that I've chosen, and this is the latest release on my album, my album, yeah, my album. label, Pineapple. And again, features Fox, who's had another feature on here yeah, so as well. Run, yeah. Bit of a tempo change, but um, you know, need, need the PRS, so we're going to play it anyway. This one's called Wemisay, and it's me and Paolo on the beat, DJ Paolo. 
who is a very talented lad. Shout out, Polo. Sweet. It's not called when we yeah. say it at all. It's the B side. This is the flames I chose because I was trying to make a foghorn funky tune. But obviously, that didn't happen, as you'll hear. You know. Why do my chat like Batman boo from the ones and twos? Them kinda walk with the back when I like when they chat their poo. Ah, when them lap put a hide under hat to a Batman screw. Fear, chase them cool like a big cat do when a cat man do. Me, coming and the dance with a good rhyme. Coming and the dance with a good time. Bubble with a girl move waistline. Baseline fine when I waste time. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the same. This is the vibe, right? This is the flame, yeah, 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 yeah. This is insane. This is the vibe, right? Yeah, this is the flame. Why do I chat like Batman do on the ones and twos? Them kinda walk when I walk when I like when I chat their pool. Ah, when them lock put a hide under hat to a Batman screw. Fierce, chase them cool like a big cat do when a cat man do. Me, coming and the dance with a good rhyme. Coming and the dance with a good time. Bubble with a girl move with a slime. Be a fine when I waste time. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is insane. This is the fire, right? This is the flame. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is insane. This is the fire, right? Yeah, this is the flame. Why don't I chat like Batman do on the ones and two? Them gonna chat when I back when I like when I chat their pool. Ah, when I lock, like, couldn't hide under hot to rub at my screw. Chase them cool like a big cat do when a cat man do. Me, come in at the dance with a good rhyme. I'm coming at the dance with a good time. Bubble with a girl move with a slime. Be a slime fine when I waste time. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is insane. This is the vibe, right? This is the flame. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is insane. Tell them to move, where God, this is my name. Hey, say I'm me. This is my name. Shut Sweet. Fun fact about this one: I was trying to make a foghorn tune and flopped it, but you know, there we go. It's the the least foghorny tune I've heard. <laughs> yeah, well. fair enough. Yeah, Fox smashed this one. Uh, he makes, and I mean this. I don't mean this about this particular tune, but he makes. Bad tunes sound great, and that's not a bad tune, that's a quality tune, but I... You're getting a slap out of Alright, um... I think we need to take things a bit serious now, because we have another... In unprecedented times and scenes, we have another demo track to play. This one comes from Minneapolis, actually, um, from Robbie T. And uh, this tune is called Play Last, and it features the vocals of Murphy Ranks who was actually shot and killed last year when the city of Minneapolis was in total anarchy uh, after the murder of George Floyd. Um, and apparently the, the investigation into the whole case has not been taken seriously by the Minneapolis police. And yeah, he features on this track, which Robert T's been working on. So I think, you know, he sent this through with this like very sad but pretty insane story. Not yeah. insane, that's the wrong word. Um, intense, sorry, I'm trying very to say. Very intense, yeah. So yeah, let's give this a run. And it's a really nice tune. It's a good tune. And I think we would have played it as the demo submission anyway, but you know the fact that it's been coupled with that story uh, gave it even more um, power, I guess. Swoo. All time people say good things come to those who wait. But my granny is the Murphy Rams. Don't wait too late. So right now, me and bust through the gate. Fence off records. You don't know. Pick up yourself, Virgo. But me tell them. No, we have to free up, free up. If I wanna be up, be up. Me still living in the fast lane. Kneeling at the fast lane. So me now, give up, give up. No, we have to free up, free up. 
If you wanna be up, be up Me, still living in the past Me, living in the past Me, so me not give up Who am I? No Me not wait till later Me still a work hard And me not get me a Me say me want my own down a Jamaica And out of poverty Me say me a fear escaper Rise to the top like a elevator Me not watch who come and discriminator The creator Tell me if you hold the theater I left the hater them for later You, them a scam and a kill Just to get a dollar bill After left college with a whole heap of skill Them can't find a job all life is fulfilled Enough of them, you know them can't pay the bill Like you want to get to you empty fool And you do everything, them have a rise up the tool And you want to ride them just like a mule But me, I tell them to be cool just because eh? You only have to free up, free up If you wanna be up, be up Me, still living in the past lane Dealing in the past lane So me now give up, give up You only have to free up, free up If you wanna be up, be up Me, still living in the past lane Dealing in the past lane So me now give up, give up I might have to listen so my career me shine With 9 to 5 I'm also combined Never get a nickel and me never get a dime Me work so hard I just see get mine They out a road and me work so hard None of them know say the rank in the fraud See they know me work from yard to ride So no god when they see me with me on the accord When me say Yo we have to free up, free up If you wanna be up, be up Me, still living in the fast lane Dealing with the past pain So me now give up, give up Yo, we have to free up, free up If you wanna be up, be up Me, still living in the fast lane Dealing with the past pain So me now give up, me want my no So yeah, R.I.P. Murphy Ranks Hold tight, everyone out in America Protesting about what seems like a fairly insane police force Obviously, Black Lives Matter All that good stuff and yeah solidarity um coming up next we have eso who are up in about 45 seconds just the one today yeah, yeah, the one oh it's about 10 here yeah okay yeah That's yep. a reduced eso crew but no <laughs> doubt we'll just du- the e. <laughs> duppy it yeah just the e we'll duppy it all the same i'm gonna fade you up now but you've got 30 seconds so yeah that's been the critical sound show on su fm with uh, me sam binger Myself, uh, from concepts, and if we're luckily in time, myself, I agree. There it is. Yeah. All right, Take just, us. Back, just back from the back. toilet. And we'll All see right. you next month, fourth Monday of the month. Yep. Uh, see you then. Send us some demos. Send us some jokes in the Discord. You know, get involved in the Discord. Um, and yeah, let us know what you think. Matt didn't eat his Yo, Snickers. I just found a Snickers. This Yo, is shit. dog. Swoo. All right, peace. Don't, 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 don't touch that dial. Sweet.